I think the, the, some of the significant things that I've seen as far as the change is that when you're in a community where so many people are, are giving themselves to prayer, when I first heard of somebody praying uh, 24 hours in a week, I just thought that was uh, incredible. How, how do you carve out 24 hours a week? You know, people are working 40, 50, 60 hours a week. And how do you, how do you even carve out 24 hours? And um, I remember the very first time I went into the prayer room and I prayed for six hours straight. And I would have never been able to do that uh, back at home. But because there were other people praying, because there was uh, worship music going, all of those things helped to uh, help me to stay in that place of prayer, even when there was some, you know, boring times of, of that or, you know, and that prayer included things like opening the scripture. And, and so what do we do for that prayer? Some of it is praying for others and their needs, but a lot of it is just what we would call devotional life. We're opening the scriptures, meditating on a passage of scripture, praying that back to the Lord. Um, as far as our family, what has happened in, in our family is I, I have a little eight-year-old girl right now who is praying. Now, she's not praying eight hours a day, but she's praying more at eight years old than I ever prayed. And it's not uncommon for her to now excuse herself uh, in the evening and go into her bedroom and she's put on some worship music and she spends a half hour in her bedroom praying. And that was something I would never have even really tried to instruct her in before. Or if I did, it would have seemed more like a task. But she's in the prayer room uh, with mom and dad for little snippets at a time. And when she's there, she sees other kids praying and they just have that sort of positive influence of other people praying and, and that we can, we can do this. I think the other thing that's helped is that prayer um, is, is something that you can do publicly, you can do it out loud, you can do it on, the, on a microphone and pray out loud and other people can agree with you in that prayer. But there's also just a lot of quiet, silent prayer. And so many people in our churches, the opportunities we give for prayer just to a handful of people that can go up front and pray. And, and here I see people learning how to pray because other people are modeling it for them. And uh, I think that's a significant thing that uh, in my local church experience I didn't, didn't have.